you guys guess what I'm gonna say? Wait for it. Do you guys wanna go to France together? Let's go to France together. As you can see, I am not looking my best. I'm kind of looking fucking rough. And that's because I just got done stress cleaning my house. Love that for me. But we have like an hour and a half till we need to leave for the airport. So I need to shower, get ready, and then I'm taking you guys with me. So let's go. <laughs> I'm out of the shower and even though it's only like two o'clock in Arizona I don't know the next time that I'm gonna be able to do like all my skincare and brush my teeth So I'm doing all that now I do not like wearing makeup at the airport So I'm just gonna do sunscreen and then do my eyebrows and we're calling it good I am obsessed with this sunscreen the only sunscreen I've ever used that I feel like really feels like skincare I'm feeling the three C's for the airport. Comfy, cute, and clean. Here's the outfit. <laughs> Emery and Scott are here to watch Trig. They're gonna be the best babysitters before my mom watches him. Go, go, go. Okay, guys, we are off to the airport, and my dad was nice enough to take us. We got all our suitcases and we're ready to go. Okay guys, we checked our bags and we are off to our gate. First Dr. Pepper. Might be my last. Holy shit, that's crispy. This is our first time in an airport lounge. I'm having airport lounge food. Pretty good. Guys, we're leaving the lounge and we are off to the plane. <laughs> We're so stoked. Headphones, whatever this cosmetic case is, pillow, blanket. Guys, of course we located the jelly cat. This is the one that we're gonna get trig. I have always wanted to try this place. Okay, Slay, I just took a shower in the London airport bathroom lounge. Actually, it was a nice shower. Also, if anybody cares, the humidity in the airport made my curls fall immediately. Okay, we just got coffee. I love pistachio. Still on my pants. Guys, look at this place. I think I'm in heaven. I'm speechless at this place. Okay guys, we're walking to our room. Seriously, such a dream. Like I cannot even believe this room. Okay guys, we made it to Provence. I am so thankful to be here. This hotel is insane. I'm gonna post a whole hotel tour. We're gonna go back to our room right now and order room service and all the things. I cannot wait to take you guys on the rest of this trip with us. Love you guys. Okay guys, so we are officially in France with L'Occitane and I need to show you guys this hotel. So along with a normal room tour, I am doing a hotel tour. Because this property, as you can see, is absolutely insane and we are some of the first guests to stay in it. Okay, so here's the outside of the hotel. This used to be a church and they remodeled it. I actually just cannot get over this. It's breathtaking. I just genuinely cannot believe that this is real life that we're here right now. Okay, then this is walking into the hotel. Literally, how is this real life? Every detail of this place is stunning and then here's the lobby like if i die and go to heaven this is what i want it to look like one of my favorite parts is all these stained glass windows like look at these all over the ceilings i love that they kept these even have a l'occitane spa and then a bunch of products over here you guys already know i'm obsessed with all of these things right here babe what do you think it's okay we're walking down to our room there's like a bar and everything down here. You guys, art, I have to do a room tour right now. This is the most insane, like, We're shook. this is insane. Bonjour. So right when you walk in, you have this cute little area. Then you've got the bedroom, like a little sitting area. It is so perfect, you guys. Even gave me these little silk pajamas with my name on them. Got the bed. The vibes of this room are just so perfect. And then these gorgeous flowers. I already know there's going to be good things in here.
Oh my gosh, my favorites. They know me too well. I've got this little desk over here. They even gave me like a fan. I'm 100% gonna start using this in my skincare. A tripod, a towel, everything we could need. This is the bathroom of my dreams. I am just like speechless. I could die here. We've got the sinks and the beautiful shower. Okay, we have a separate toilet room, which is gonna be good for this man. Like, why is even this room so cute? Should we go see more of the hotel? Okay, we're going out to the pool. Please look at this place. Like, is it real? Hey guys, safe to say we're in heaven. We're so thankful to be here. Love you guys. Hey guys, I knew that today was about to be a travel experience that I will never forget and that I've never experienced before, so I recorded everything that I ate today on the way to France. Of course, started with a crispy Dr. Pepper, and this one was a crispy boy, which I did not expect. Then we had airport lounge food. We have never been in airport lounges before, but recently we got like a new credit card where we get to go in them, and that was really cool. I'm not gonna lie, airplane food kind of makes Brady and I gassy and bloated, so like TMI, but I got lots of drinks, warm nuts, and then like this appetizer, which was salad. I dropped the shit on that, and um, this is me eating. Honestly, a lot of this is like kind of nasty shots of me eating, like, big bites of food. This breakfast, this is where it got a little sus. Um, the orange juice was the first part of this breakfast, but the eggs were sticking to the plate, and it kind of reminded me of when I make trig eggs, and I'll never make his eggs in the microwave ever again, because if that's what he's experiencing, then I don't want him to experience that. Then I finally went to laundry, I don't know if that's how you say it, but we got macarons, and then we got coffee. That was actually really good coffee. Another airport lounge meal, this was really weird. I had, like, curry, desserts, like, a bunch of weird things. That drink was obviously very strong, a lot of vodka, little cranberry juice. We got to Provence and had this tea, and then Brady and I had dinner out on our balcony, and it was insane with these shrimp rolls, and then we also got Caesar salad and wine, which slapped. That, my friends, is everything I ate today on the way to France. Good morning, you guys. Happy Monday. We are in France. I can't believe it. Get ready with me for day one. I don't know about you guys when you're traveling in a different time zone, but I cannot help but constantly think about what time it is in Arizona. I also did salt curls again last night because honestly, I don't know if my shark is going to work. And this is just easier because I know my hair is going to fall out anyway. Today we kind of traveled all throughout the night, but honestly, once I got here, I had so much energy. Like, I wasn't even tired because I was just so excited to, like, explore. Like, hair's all done. They were going to Lavender Fields, and I am so excited. I just cannot get over how gorgeous this place is. Just to make your entire morning, please listen to this sound. Like the chirping birds, I'm sorry. Are we in like a movie? Somehow after everything I packed, I forgot my toothbrush. I was dying because when we got here and we got picked up from the airport from our driver, Matt, he doesn't really speak a lot of English because he obviously speaks fluent French and he just kept saying to me less words. He's like, less words. We say less words here. He's talking to me and I'm like, like, um, like, um, between like every single thing I say to him. I plan kind of for content to be able to show you guys as much as I can and also because I want to record it for my memories is to kind of do like my normal get ready with me's and then I'll probably do get dressed with me's for the day and I'll vlog like our whole day for you guys. I have a feeling that the lavender fields today are going to absolutely blow my mind right now. I'm getting ready for breakfast and then we're going straight to the lavender fields. As you guys saw in our travel vlog, we got Trig a jelly cat. I of course had to locate one at the London airport. A couple of you commented the cutest idea to basically take it around like a flat Stanley and take pictures with it on our trip. Along with picking them up a jelly cat every time I see one, if I see more along the trip, I'm definitely going to be taking pictures with the one that we got because I think that that is the cutest thing ever. <laughs> Brittany, I hope you're proud of me. This is the moment in which I just realized that it's actually not Monday. It is, in fact, Tuesday here. I figured that out by going through in my head how we traveled pretty much all Sunday night and then all day Monday, and now it's Tuesday. Also so excited to finally meet, like, everybody on the trip this morning. Everyone say hi to Brady. He's awake. <laughs> not just the reality of men versus women in general, but especially on vacation. It's going to take me the full hour and a half, and Brady's probably going to take, like, 20 minutes. Weather has also been perfect thus far. I packed for warm weather, so I'm hoping it stays that way. We up. I'm off to get dressed, but I love you guys and can't wait to take you with me today. Ready, you guys get dressed with me for a day one in Provence. Today, we're going to Lavender Fields. Okay, so I wanted to wear something like bright and fun that maybe would contrast with the purple in the Lavender Field. So I'm wearing this little mini polka dot dress. Okay, here is the dress. It's so cute. I love the back and I pray that with this humidity, my nipple covers stay on. That would be tragic if I'm just like frolicky in the Lavender Fields and then one just like slips out. Next, I'm going to try to wear this really fun scarf around my ponytail. So we'll see if it works. 
looks. Okay, so kind of the vibe I'm thinking is just like tying it and wearing it down with my ponytail. I don't know if that works. Okay, so I think that this would be adorable if the scarf was thinner, but it's too thick, so I'm gonna try to put it on my bag. And then for shoes, I obviously wanna be comfy. We're gonna be walking a lot, so sneakers it is. I was trying to decide between these Sambas and then these New Balances, but I think the New Balances will be better with like the neutrals. And I'm also dying because I was gonna put these skims on underneath, and I didn't realize that they have a giant hole in the crotch. I thought that I did this. Freddie and I were literally cracking up. He was like, why is that there? And I'm like, Heck if I know. Okay, for a bag, we are bringing out the black Chanel. Let's see if I can like maybe style the scarf around it. I can love this scarf. It's so beautiful, but I've got an Ixnay. I'm going to wear it as a shirt on this trip. Though. Lastly is accessories. So I'm going to wear my everyday watch. And then I took your guys' advice and I bought a little jewelry case. So for earrings, I'm going to wear these Bottega dupes from Amazon. I love this outfit because it feels very cute, but also still very comfortable and practical. Okay, here's the full outfit. Let me know what you guys think. I'm so so excited. Thank you guys so much. I'm definitely vlogging our day, so stay tuned for that, but I hope you guys have an amazing day. Here's one last 360 of the outfit. Morning, you guys. Happy Wednesday. Get ready with me for day two in Provence. Cheers with my chocolate croissant. So good. Today is our last full day here because we leave tomorrow, but then Brady and I are off to Paris. And I've already started our morning today because we went to something called a sound bath. Seriously, so amazing and so relaxing. Go out to the most beautiful garden and then we laid on these like cushioned mats. I literally fell asleep because it was so relaxing. Basically how it works is they make sounds with like musical instruments and things like that. And the sounds are supposed to go through your ears and like send vibrations through basically your organs. I'm gonna edit my vlog later of our day yesterday because yesterday was such a fun day. It's crazy with the time change though. I felt like midday I hit a crash and I was so tired. Yesterday I got a lot of heat for wearing my new balances with my dress and all i have to say was i personally felt cute and i was so comfortable with all the walking that we did so i'm not gonna wear new balances today but i am still going to wear sneakers so i'm not gonna wear new balances today i'm still gonna wear sneakers because seriously with the amount of walking we were doing even in sneakers my feet got like kind of sore you guys look how cute brady is hi babe hi <laughs> still taking my vitamins so let's take some down the hatch Here's the rundown of everything we're doing today because I am so excited. Hey, we're starting off by going to the L'Occitane factory and I think that this is going to be so cool and so educational. One thing I love is everyone on this trip that I've talked to like genuinely has their favorite tried and true products from L'Occitane. So it's gonna be so cool to see how they're made, how they're tested. I'm gonna get to see how they test it on like real human skin. Like they basically grow human skin, I'm pretty sure, don't quote me. And then they test the product on it to see how it will react and work. I knew coming here that the food was gonna be so much fresher than in the US because people talk about that all the time. The foods are so much fresher here, flavorful, but they're not like as flavorful as I feel like we're used to because they're not as processed. Mostly had a lot of fish while I've been here, potatoes. I'm trying to think what else, like fresh greens and it's all just been so good. Today we're having a picnic in the lavender field. So I know that that is going to be incredible. I'm grateful because right before we left for this trip, we installed like a blink camera in Trigg's room. Okay, Brady said it's not a blink, it's a ring. But anyways, we installed a camera in his room and it's been so fun because while we've been gone we can like talk to him through the camera and it's so cute because he's like so confused because he can't see us but he's excited because he can hear our voices thinking of coming back here as a family has already gotten brady and i so excited go do my hair really quick off to get dressed i love you guys and hope you have an amazing day morning you guys get dressed with me for day two in provence today we are going to lavender fields and the l'occitane factory goal this whole trip is to be comfy and cute we're starting off strong with a white tank top it's supposed to be hot today so i think that this is going to be perfect okay tank top is on next up is this skirt from dish i am obsessed with it it's like a maxi My friend lauren actually wore it yesterday here and it looked gorgeous on her so i'm so excited to wear it today um i'm obsessed with this and i love that the waist is adjustable so it's just like comfy okay then for shoes this is like the hardest part of outfits here is I really want to wear these sandals but I know I'm going to be more comfortable in these sambas so I'm going with the sambas. What do we think of the shoes today? I think these are cute. I love sambas. I think they go with everything and I'll be very comfortable. So if anybody watched my get dressed with yesterday I solved the skims mystery while well, you guys told me this is to pee out of this hole in the crotch. I'm like when you're standing maybe it's closed but I still would not be able to not think about the fact that I have a hole in my crotch. But I digress. We're on to earrings. I am so excited for my 
earring off today. Also, I got a case like you guys told me to from Amazon. I'm obsessed with this. So option number one, both these are from Brinker and Eliza. I love their jewelry are these little chain earrings, which I think could be really cute. Or I'm thinking these because I think I have room to be a little extra because number one, I'm on vacation. And number two, the outfit is really simple. Brady's gonna pick. Which ones? Hearts. The hearts for sure? No question. We're going with the hearts. I've never owned a cuter pair of earrings in my entire life. Now let's pick a bag. Adding some more summer to this look with this raffia bag. I'm so excited. It still has stuffing in it from the airplane. We have the bag on. The outfit is almost complete. I think it's complete, but I almost am tempted to try to do the scarf again. Hear me out. I think the scarf is cute on the bag. So I think... This is the final outfit. I'm feeling very comfortable, very cute. Let me know what you guys think. I love you guys, and I hope you have an amazing day. Hey, okay, guys, get dressed with me for our last dinner tonight in Provence with L'Occitane. I'm so excited. I hope that my hair turns out, though. As many people know, sharks and Dysons don't work, I'm pretty sure, anywhere in Europe. And I tried it, and it didn't turn on, so sock curls it was. I think I'm pulling this baby out tonight. I just think that this is the vibe for dinner tonight. We're having dinner at the hotel. It's this strapless little dress. So let's put it on. I am absolutely dying at the hair with this dress, but this is the dress. I think it's so cute, so pretty. Um, and I also definitely got a little bit of tan line today for shoes i think either of these would be cute but i'm thinking i'm gonna go with the white ones here's the dress with the shoes very summery i think it will be perfect for dinner now let's pick a bag wait actually i feel like i should take my hair out now but i'm kind of scared i just really hope it turns out moment of truth let's see what 30 minutes of salt curls did for my hair okay not crazy but not bad like for 30 minutes i feel like i got pretty good curls out of this okay for accessories i think that the heart earrings i wore today could be really pretty or i planned on wearing these mother of pearl earrings so I'm thinking these the earrings and then I'm going to wear my raffia little bucket bag So here is the final outfit and let me know what you guys think so cute and perfect for our last night here And this dress is actually extremely comfortable. Love you guys Good morning you guys happy tuesday is our first day in provence so i'm going to take you guys along with us for the entire day brady's currently getting dressed then we are off to breakfast and then we're going to the lavender fields at 9 30 so let's go here's our outfits for the day brady joined the doc martin game <laughs> look at this stunning view outside of our bathroom we also are definitely bringing the film camera okay we're on our way to breakfast i seriously cannot get over how stunning every part of this hotel is we just got down to breakfast and look how gorgeous this spread is like options galore i'm so excited we located the croissants here's our spread for the day with a gorgeous view of course thank you this is really good i don't know what's in it but it's very good I'm trying the croissant wow we are off to the cars. You guys, look who I finally got to meet. Who I got to meet? Oh my god! Wait. He's even more gorgeous and sweet in person. You too. If you got some favorite. Rachel, say hi. Hi. We made it to the almond field, and look what they have out for us. These trees need a lot of winds. We're here on the Lamandier. The is arriving at the moment of the Romans. That's one of the very strong messages. Okay, they said that we could pick an almond just to like feel it. It's got like a really soft, almost velvety coating. How's it feel? Like a nut? It feels like a nut. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's what it looks like. So I guess they turn brown just from sitting out, but this is it straight out of the shell. It's actually really good. You guys, I didn't even know that L'Occitane had this. It's like a refreshing, hydrating mist. Look how insane these lavender fields are. Lavender fields are so insane. Insane. <laughs> I thought we were going to lavender fields today. We're actually going tomorrow. tomorrow. Okay, you guys, we are all off to lunch. I don't know where we're eating, but I'm excited because I'm hungry. This looks fresh. Look how cute this little market is that's inside the lunch place. We've got fresh fruit. <laughs> Brady and I always get a magnet when we go somewhere new, so we got this one. Oh, that's very good. This is our appetizer. It's um, burrata with tomatoes and pesto. I just dropped that on my dress. I love that for me. I love spilling on myself all the time. Okay, we have pistachio ice cream. Or guess gelato. Now we're just walking around the village over here to see what they have. Okay, I found boba, so I'm very tempted to try some. Got boba, very yummy. Boba tea? 
We just got back to the hotel. Rachel and I were absolutely zonked in the car. I'll, I'll probably insert a picture of me sleeping. Um, so now we're probably gonna like lay out by the pool. I'm at the pool and look who I'm with. We've got Tom. We've, we've got, got Rachel. Rabbit. And we've That's got <laughs> Little pina colada action going on. That's very good. Hey you guys, we just made it to dinner for the night. Here's the outfit. Very excited to eat some yummy food. This looks awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Same. We have a little mocktail. Okay guys, we are back from dinner at the hotel. It's currently like 11 o'clock at night, so we're gonna go back to the room and shower and get ready for bed. Okay guys, skincare is done. I'm showered, socks are on my head. It was such a good day and I'm so excited for tomorrow. I love you guys and I hope you had a good day. Good morning, you guys. Happy Wednesday. Today, Brady and I are going to Paris. So get ready with me to go to Paris. I have seriously, we have seriously had the best time in Provence, but I am so excited to go to Paris. I've genuinely always dreamed of going to Paris, seeing the Eiffel Tower, things like that. So we are stoked. Actually getting ready in front of our window today in our bathroom because I just couldn't get ready for the last time here. Looking in the mirror, I needed to look out this gorgeous window. Growing up, it was always my dream to go on like a family vacation to Europe, to Paris, to wherever in Europe with my siblings and like my dad. Now that I'm older, I'm actually so glad I haven't gone because I'm getting to experience this all for the first time and I'm like truly taking it in. And Brady and I are getting to experience like these specific places for the first time together. Of course I ran out. This experience with L'Occitane though has seriously been something I will never forget. The brand is amazing. The people are amazing. The products are amazing. I just have been so happy to be here. You guys, I'm hoping this eye cream wakes me up. We got like no sleep last night. We went to bed at 3 a.m. You guys know Tom and Rachel. I always do that. After dinner last night, Rachel, Tom, me, Brady, and our friends Liv and Lex all came back to our room and we just played games and stayed up way too late. This Immortel cream makes my face feel like a baby's butt, but not oily. Brady and I need to leave for the airport in about an hour and we get into Paris at around 1 p.m. It's currently 7.30 here, which means it's 10.30 p.m. in Arizona and I still cannot help but constantly think about that. I'm so happy that we get into Paris at a decent time because I feel like we'll still have like all day to explore and walk around and i don't know what we're doing today but i'm gonna take you guys along with us and a lot of you have already given me so many recommendations for this trip but if you guys want to kind of jog my memory down below with maybe like places to eat and things like that maybe where the best shopping is i would very much appreciate that i knew i of course wanted to do some shopping while i was in paris so i definitely think today's the day to do it because it's like not a full day here it's a travel day so it's like a good time to get it done i have an airport outfit to wear that's pretty comfy it's just like a dress so if i have to wear it out i totally can but I'm also just gonna bring an extra outfit in my carry-on and hopefully we'll be able to stop at the hotel like super quick and just change I'm usually never a makeup to the airport girly But I want to feel presentable when I get there, but also not like gross So I'm doing something light so wearing sandals not sneakers with my airport dress today But I am wearing sneakers in Paris I'm praying that I won't have to raw dog it through airport security with bare feet Shuttle will be here in about 30 minutes to pick us up for the airport And I still need to get dressed do my hair and pack the rest of my things. Okay, I'm all ready to go. I love you guys and I'll see you in Paris.